We are here with Marvel TV head of TV. Head of TV. That's that's your official. That's my official. Head of Marvel TV. Head of Marvel TV, Jeff yes. Loeb. There we go. Uh, so Jeff, Luke Cage, a uh, very, very different style of show once again. Why is it so important for you guys to do these very different styles of shows each time that, that you're putting out a new product? Well, the, the, the simple answer is, is, is we're telling stories about people. We're telling stories about characters. Um, and, and as we know, no two people are alike. They each have different stories to tell. And so it, it wouldn't make sense to us to have all the shows look alike, feel alike, but in some way there is there's the marvel about it. And the marvel about it is, is that it, it feels true, that it feels grounded, that it takes place in a real city, that the, the cars and the, the, everything about it feels like it could actually happen. You get one buy. And that is, we happen to have a hero who is bulletproof skin and can lift up a car. But <laughs> it, everybody else that's in the story, including Luke Cage, it has to feel like it could happen. And if you're caught up in the drama of the story, if you're caught up in the fun of the story, if you're caught up in the action of the story, then the fact that he also happens to have superpowers, good. But unless you believe in Luke, and unless you believe in the other characters that are so brilliantly portrayed by this cast, we don't have a story to tell. And that's really the place that we start, which is what's the best story that we can tell with Luke Cage? On Jessica Jones, we had this straight up villain. There's, there's nobody that's gonna argue that he is, you know, somehow kind of a good guy. Uh, but well, I'm, I think he would. <laughs> well, I mean, I, yeah. you know, I, I'll be very honest. David Tennant and I had a long, lots of conversations about, about Kilgrave, and and the the truth of the matter is, if if you look at the story from Kilgrave's point of view, he's a victim. He didn't ask to have those powers put into him. He was a boy, and his parents then abandoned him, and he then had to make the world work for him. And so every one of our villains actually believe that they're the heroes of the story. Well, and the and, villains in, in this are, are, are much more shades of gray where you can really see their point of view from episode to episode. Uh, look, I, I personally think that, that when you look at whether it's Vincent D'Onofrio's portrayal as, as Wilson Fisk or, or you look at John Bernthal's portrayal as the Punisher uh, or Elodie Young as, as Elektra and, and now uh, Mahershala is uh, Ali's performance as, as Cottonmouth, although he doesn't like being called Cottonmouth. Uh, you know, it, it, what you get is is a very real world look at very complex characters, and and for us to be able to do that in a genre that is so often stereotyped as, oh, that's just Biff Bam Boom. Oh, that's just a comic book. Oh, I already know how that's going to turn out. Uh, to be able to tell stories that are surprising people. Uh, and to not just take, oh, that scene that I loved in the comics and make it and put it on film, I, that's disrespectful to the comics. The comics themselves exist in that world, which is why we make choices all the time where people go, oh, I didn't know that was going to happen because in the comics, this happened. So what we want to be able to do is always be able to tell a story that you don't know the ending of because if you're going to sit down and you're going to give us 13 hours of your life, we have to deliver a story to you that makes it feel like you didn't waste your time. That in fact, what you want to do is watch it again. With this being the third hero out, uh, the, the fever pitch is starting to build here for Defenders. We also now have Punisher moving along as well. Uh, it, it, how much are you looking into those? You, you know, where are you at on your, on your end with those shows and with, with continuing to push this corner of this universe? forward well uh, you know people know iron fist is shooting now right. uh and so and it's going spectacular and it's a very different story from this kind of story danny rand it lives in a different world than luke cage lives in um i you know am i looking forward to the day when they all get together yes but it, it but <laughs> the the part that's exciting to me isn't that they may be able to be fighting some great big bad or whatever that story is going to be it's it's that We've been able to take the time in order so that you can get to know Matt Murdock, you can get to know Jessica Jones, you can get to know Luke Cage, you can get to know Luke, Danny Rand, and each of them have their own 13-hour story, and in some cases more than that, for you to be able to really get invested in who those heroes are. 
My question is, okay, what happens when they then meet? They're very different people. Mm -hmm. They have a very different way of pursuing their lives. They have a very different way of what they believe in. That's what's interesting to me. It, and, and so hopefully those are the kinds of things that we're going to be able to, to explore as we get into the Defenders world. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Jeff. My pleasure. Appreciate Thank it, man. Care.